Hello everybody. Today is um, Sunday index card and um, my theme is more or less of what I've been going through this week and that's you know hectic hectic hectic. Now it's hectic but happy because um, we're you know finally finishing my son's house and um, this week I have had 10 people or 11 sometimes at my lunch table every day and it's been like the whole morning cooking because you want to feed these and all men I'm the only girl at the table and um, the point is that I've been getting up early well I get up early all the time um, and most of my time has been in the kitchen by the time I finish doing the dishes and everything it's about four o'clock in the afternoon and and I have been so wiped out that I have not been in this room other than to do that album and um, and it kind of bothers me that like I was so tired that I would just go onto my armchair and watch videos and probably even fall asleep a bit too. <laughs> I would close my eyes and, and you know reopen them go back to the video and start watching it again because I was missing it. Not that anybody was boring it was just that I was exhausted. So yeah um, the point is here and I think this card is cut a bit crooked. Wow yeah I think it is. Anyways this is a watercolor piece of paper. And um, the point of this video today is I want you guys to, you know, try to find that time to play around. Um, uh, I, I, I was exhausted. I, I, I was speaking to Annie um, on Skype the other day and I was telling her I'd like to bring my craft room in here in the living room where we were talking because um, I'm too lazy right now to go there and <laughs> get anything to work on. So this is my theme today is to find time to play. Now on this watercolor paper I have already put some washi tape and I've put some um, of the mesh you know the um, oh what's that thing called the drywall mesh and then I got this stencil that's from Prima and it's all clocks so I've put the clocks here on one side right now today I wanted to play around with and I haven't played around with them on video yet because I showed you the album that was done with sprays but I haven't actually really played time ago I found Lindy Stamp Gang here in Italy and I was so happy and they were selling I think it was four pieces in a pack like they don't sell them individual so you would get I think two sprays a dabber and the magicals so I'm going to play around here with these colors today and I got this um, green um, let me see I'm gonna put a blue and and these ones that I found at the Chinese store I showed them to you I made with the magicals as well too so I'm even I even get more sprays this way so I'm just gonna start um, doing this I want to give it a little bit of a dry first yeah, like I said, I've been exhausted, but it's been like a happy time to see this, you know, house finally coming together. Um, they still have to finish the, the bathroom, the tiling in the bathroom, because my son at the store, what he does most of the time, too, is he'll, um, poor thing, he wanted, he, he was really interested in architecture. Um, he didn't go to school for it, but he's very good at it. He, he kind of took after me because I love, um, you know, like, um, how could I say it planning a room I would design all the furniture measure all the furniture measure all the walls and put everything together and I I love doing that stuff and he does too so he does it with the bathrooms and he's um, he designed a pretty complicated bathroom there <laughs> so like my other nephew that's doing the work because then we um, actually have you know all the people in the family that do this work uh, my brother my two brother-in-laws are constructor workers my nephew um, puts down tiling and um, yeah so it's been all in the family and it's been family that's been eating at my house every day so um, yeah it's it's like I said it's a happy time um, stressful but happy and you know I'm really happy for my son that it's coming together now and the doors will probably be coming in the end of this week hopefully and then you know he can start probably painting it and then bringing in the furniture and things like that and even the painters family I'm thinking of putting and I'm gonna try a dauber today 
Now, you're not going to be seeing the clocks right now very well, but I will go over that with a bit of gold. So I'm going to put some of this. I know I'm just kind of, I, I didn't really plan the colors. I'm using what I have here on my desk. <coughs> so it's going to come out a bit colorful. And yeah, um, yeah, and this room, the way you're seeing this desk right now, well, you're not seeing it all because I put it a little bit closed up, but like, um, it's a mess. It is a mess. Look at that. I haven't been in here um, since the since the album and it's been the same way I've even had water on my desk for about a week now that I have to change so if you know you're using sprays like this I didn't have to gesso this paper because of the bit being a watercolor paper so that's pretty cool that you know but I think it came it, it looks crooked to me you guys I don't know <laughs> I tried cutting it straight <laughs> Okay, so this is where I want to try the dauber. I have not tried the daubers yet. And it's a pretty dark color here. So I'll tell you the colors I've been using up until now. If I can read them, huh? Because this is a, a deep Himen turquoise. Then I used the green was a sea mint green. And this pink is a hotty potty hot pink. And this one, the dauber, is a dark chocolate truffle. Now I'm going to try it just on a little touch of piece here because I just want to make sure that I'm not going to, you know, I'm not, I'm liking that. Let me see if I... Yeah, because, you know, the paper is kind of absorbing it all. So I'm not going to put any more of that on. And I'm going to go back to spraying a bit. And I'll give it a dry. Now you can really see the clocks coming through. Let me put that closer again so you guys don't have to see my mess on the desk either. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and um, so today's Sunday here and another day of cooking, but I don't have all those people that I have during the week. Tomorrow's going to start again. And it's like, oh my goodness, just being exhausted in the afternoon. Okay. I'm kind of liking that. Look at that. I really like the colors that came out there. So what I've done is previously, I got, you know, I got, you know, I got, you guys, I get lots of things ready before the video because I don't want the video to be too long. And I wrote um, time, find time to play. And um, what I did do is actually, I found something out that I'll show you really quick on a little piece of paper here. It's a little trick that I just learned now because, um, I want to get this done so I'll find a very simple word here um, okay F and I need an I I'm using these little wood stamps so what I do is I line them up And I found it really easy this way because a lot of the times my stamping comes out terrible and I have to redo it again. And hopefully it'll come out good this way. So what I did is I lined up the letters up like that, holding them all together. I pushed them into my pad and voila. Now some of the letters will be coming a bit farther than others, but I don't care. I have the whole word already written out there. And I don't have to be worried about, you know, making, um, so this is a good idea for whoever has these little wood stamps here. Just line them up in your hands and continue. So I'm going to get some glue here and start positioning. 
I've already darkened the edges. Find time to, they got a bit spray, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Find oh, the time to play. I'm just going to wipe it down with my finger. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'm going to do it, but I'm hoping to go in the kitchen, clean up, um, cook, put my meatball sauce on, make the meatballs and a nice sauce today, and then um, come back in here and clean up a bit because I can't really, um, I can't really concentrate in this mess either. And there is a mess that has to be, you know, fixed up and organize better because I'm not finding anything. I couldn't even find scissors in here this morning. I found this little pair of scissors and it was cutting everything crooked so I just decided to tear this paper and I love the effect it's giving it. Hope they're all going down. Well this one here underneath has a bit of modeling paste so you have to kind of work that with it. I love these little dark spots here. The weather's really nice today. It's a bit breezy but the sun is just shining away. Okay I got that done. Now I want to um, oh here it is okay. Just want to go around the edges if I get out of frame you guys a bit. Um, if I can find, if I can find, which I doubt it, thicker. Okay. Just making a line here and there. Kind of making a little um little border around it. I really like using the, um, uh, what's it called, the mesh from the drywall. Okay, yeah, I like that better that the letters are showing up more. And last but not least, I have my gold. Um, it's type of like, you know, rub a gold, ink a gold, whatever you guys call it there. And just emphasize these clocks a bit more.
and even the mesh where the mesh is you can rub a bit on that too so a little bit down here now what I do when I do close the camera you guys after with this type of um, thing and I think it works the same thing with Inca Gold or Rub and Buff <coughs> I'm sorry I'll grab a Kleenex and just you know go over it and buff it up a bit um, I don't do it on camera because it's better that you wait a bit to, to, to do it and I think it's always the same thing with the other two products that I just mentioned it's always a waxy finish so it needs to be buffed and it comes out beautiful so there you go you guys this is my card for today um, I hope you guys do as well find the time to play and um, everybody have a great Sunday and until the next time goodbye